Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am Wadi Gap, I am a speech and language pathologist, uh, and this is what I have been uh, doing uh, the last 27 years of my life. I am also a proud father of uh, three daughters. My eldest is Wad, uh, she's a postgraduate from uh, Shafi University as a speech and language pathologist. And uh, she is completing her master degree now in Lionel University for uh, dysphagia. Uh, second daughter is Maya. She is uh, studying in Cardiff uh, architecture. And the third daughter is Tala, grade 9. Um, I've also uh, got my certification uh, for uh, ABA board uh, recently as a registered behavior technician. And I'm preparing myself now uh, next few days to uh, complete my exam as a BCBA, BCABA, uh, please wish me luck. <laughs> uh, my presentation today is about uh, early detection and, and uh, identification <coughs> of uh, speech uh, problems. Uh, forgive me, I'm not uh, really good in talk, but uh, I'm okay with it because uh, they say uh, the best speech therapist, the less he talk. <laughs> uh, our objective today will be early identification uh, of speech problems uh, uh, and how we do this and why and when. Uh, uh, how we decide that the child in need in speech uh, therapy and uh, evidence-based uh, interventions of uh, early intervention uh, programs. Uh, I inserted uh, two programs, uh, Applied Behavioral Analysis and uh, Early Start Dental uh, Model. Uh, and uh, at the end, if we have time, I will give you uh, a brief idea about our uh, uh, model in Marbella. Uh, uh, early identification intervention is the term uh, that we use to describe <laughs> services uh, that are uh, eligible uh, uh, to describe uh, children uh, who are in need of uh, developmental, uh, they have developmental delays and disabilities uh, and their families like uh, speech, occupational, uh, assistive technology, uh, physiotherapy, uh, special education. Uh, uh, evidence based for the uh, early identification and identification are a lot and uh, 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 it has so many advantages. Uh, uh, some advantages of uh, the early identification and uh, uh, intervention is built on the foundation that the first five years of the child's life is uh, uh, the, 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 the time that the child is um, progressing and developing his uh, uh, skills during this time. Uh, it uh, improved the child's overall developmental and social uh, skills. It also uh, reduced the feeling of isolation and neglect uh, and reduced the frustration later on in his life and uh, uh, it alleviated uh, and reduced the behavioral issue that may arise uh, from the speech delay he may have in this uh, early uh, stage. Uh, it also helps the children uh, to get over their, their disability and to grow uh, uh, with their peers uh, to have an independent uh, life. Uh, it also reduced the, fu the future costs uh, from the delay of having this uh, rehabilitation services uh, and take it later. Uh, uh, risks, risks of delayed uh, and late interventions uh, may be uh, affecting the change of the developmental path of the child uh, to have this uh, de developmental uh, uh, services and rehabilitation services uh, later uh, and to reduce his outcomes at schools. Uh, it also may affect his poor social skills when he grow up in the stage of uh, 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 like uh, to, to be adolescent or to be having poor communication and social emotional development like his peers. It also may uh, arise with the behavioral issue because he, he will feel uh, isolated from his uh, peers. Uh, so he feels a difference between him and other uh, uh, ch uh, children in his age, uh, it also have uh, low self-esteem because he's feeling always that he is not uh, really at the same age of his peers, and uh, he is uh, uh, bullied all the time by them. 
uh, who should uh, be evaluated? Uh, actually, from my point of view as a, a speech therapist, we also we all would uh, recommend to start very early as soon as possible and to uh, make the evaluation for everyone. Uh, we need to ask ourselves a, a very important question, uh, whether it's a delay or a disorder, uh, and to decide uh, exactly what's the severity of the, this delay, uh, whether it's moderate or mild or moderate or severe. Uh, children at risk or uh, at high risk, they should be evaluated in uh, specific uh, and consistent uh, intervals, and we need to uh, reassess on a regular basis. Uh, children with no risk, they may uh, have a slight delay, but uh, uh, also we need to check if their uh, development, uh, developmental skills in speech and language are the same age as their uh, peers. Uh, uh, risk factors, uh, according to the diagnosis, uh, like uh, medical conditions, like uh, chronic ear infection and genetic defects like uh, Down syndrome, or neurological defects, cerebral palsy, and um, uh, developmental disorders uh, like speech and language uh, delay. Uh, I think this is a, a must in these cases to start as soon as uh, possible because uh, starting uh, uh, is not an option. Uh, early intervention is a must in these uh, conditions. Uh, we should start with the immediate uh, evaluation and we should consider the contributor factors like associated problems and uh, presenting uh, symptoms and difficulties. We take it uh, under consideration and we consider as well the age of the child compared to the school uh, admission. Early intervention uh, strategies, uh, uh, I just inserted uh, some of them, there are too many, but uh, the first thing from my point of view is screening. Screening is a very uh, uh, essential uh, procedure uh, to do at the beginning so we can uh, have a clear image about this uh, child's abilities and the challenges and uh, uh, to start uh, tailoring uh, his uh, intervention plan according to that. It should be consistent and should be uh, repeated regularly uh, um, on a regular uh, basis. Uh, risk indicators are a range of environmental, biological, genetic, and the prenatal uh, uh, conditions are associated with adverse developmental uh, outcomes as well. And protective factors are special indicators and the services and uh, um, uh, this, uh, we need to uh, take care of uh, these factors because it will eliminate the need of uh, the special uh, uh, services uh, uh, if we take care of them. Primary prevention methods uh, by giving information and support for parents as well. It, uh, it will be with a great help. Systematic observation. Uh, we should uh, conduct systematic uh, uh, observation whether it's uh, informal or formal. Uh, in the schools and the home um, uh, uh, and home and preschools and in the schools as well uh, and the, uh, uh, to, to prevent uh, more uh, of uh, increasing the percentage of uh, uh, the need. Comprehensive evaluation, we should determine the, the child's specific pattern and abilities and needs uh, by evaluating um, uh, in different settings uh, to consider multiple uh, perspectives. Um, when to start? Uh, here we, we are talking about latency, and latency is a temporal measurement uh, that uh, measures the time between uh, the, the, the stimulus and the first uh, response. Uh, so it's about uh, our speed to react to the, the need uh, whenever we uh, discover any uh, defect with the child. The, as early as possible. Uh, the earlier we start, the better outcomes. So we need to differentiate between two things, uh, whether it's a delay or a disorder. Uh, actually, uh, speech delay is commonly uh, when the children achieve their speech milestones, uh, but in a, in a delayed pace. Uh, uh, for, with this uh, uh, category, uh, we prefer to start at one year and a half, like at 18 months almost, we are giving the child, the child like a chance, like six months a child, uh, chance to, uh, to uh, try to overcome his delay 
if uh, the delay is uh, persistent, so we need uh, to start immediately. And uh, the speech disorder, when the uh, child speech uh, development does not go uh, in the same range as his peers, and this is uh, recommended to start from birth. How start? Again, I'm talking about the screening. Uh, uh, and what are the, screen the screening measurements that are available and who is able to do that, uh, uh, whether it's parents or teachers or doctors or caregivers or SLP. Uh, we recommend also uh, the SLP is the one who can do the screening. And we have so many uh, available programs like HelpStrong, the PediCat, Aging the Stage, and the Child Inventory, uh, the Language Development Survey, and uh, uh, we, we build all these uh, all these uh, measurements and the programs are, are built on uh, and designed on the milestone, the, the normal milestone. So we are we compare the milestone of the child and to figure out the gap between uh, the child and the normal uh, development. Uh, those are the main uh, uh, models of early intervention uh, programs in UAE, they have organization early intervention center and the early childhood early center, uh, the creative uh, curriculum, uh, and the child uh, city uh, of humanitarian uh, services. Uh, moving to science of the speech and language uh, delay, uh, it's uh, related to uh, some kinds of difficulties. The first difficulty with speech and language uh, skills uh, the child will show slow vocabulary uh, growth. He, he, he has a difficulty combining words or, uh, or developing uh, words and then combining words into phrases, <coughs> phrases and using them uh, in the communication. Uh, also, he has uh, uh, unclear speech and it's also uh, re uh, normally related to the feeding uh, problems because they are sharing the same uh, speech organs like uh, tongue, uh, teeth, lips, uh, cheeks even. Uh, so they are uh, uh, usually related to each other. The child has an unclear speech. He, he usually have uh, feeding problems. Uh, difficulty finding the right, the right word and uh, using the, the word functionally in the right uh, situation. Uh, he may have difficulty understanding simple uh, instructions and verbal directions. Uh, he's not able to uh, follow any directions at this uh, uh, time, like from two to four, two, three, four years old. Uh, he has difficulty to, uh, whether understanding the questions on, uh, or answer questions, even simple ones like yes or no questions, he's not able to do that. Uh, or having the problems with uh, feeding with the skills, and this is a very important uh, part in our uh, field, like um, uh, attention, concentration, imitation, eye contact, uh, and the forming verbal instructions as well, uh, initiating uh, activities, or initiating the play, or uh, sharing any uh, social interaction with others, uh, uh, with, with peers and others. Difficulty in reading and writing uh, skills, uh, he will show uh, uh, a slow speed in uh, reading and writing and naming the objects and things and the uh, subjects around. Uh, he also having very limited ph uh, phonological um, awareness. The phonology is the, the relation between sounds and uh, putting them together to form uh, uh, syllables and later on to form uh, words. And difficulty understanding the written language and. Uh, that the, the relation between the written characters as letters is related to sounds and phonemes. Uh, phonemes is the smallest uh, unit of the uh, uh, sound. <laughs> Difficulty uh, related to cognitive uh, skills. Usually, it, uh, the child shows uh, very limited uh, uh, memory span. He cannot remember numbers, cannot remember uh, uh, names for things around. Uh, and he cannot re remember the daily routine, um, uh, and he has a difficulty with cause and effect uh, skills and screening and counting. Uh, difficulty also with the concepts of size, uh, size, colors, and shapes and the body parts. He, he has a difficulty in uh, uh, The next uh, difficulty is uh, with the motor skills difficulty, uh, with the fine motors to do uh, things that need uh, fine motor skills like 
patterning or uh, uh, stringing uh, leads. Uh, he is not good at that, and he shows poor, poor balance and uh, clumsiness. I put this in a uh, uh, table like this to be uh, obvious in advance. Uh, so uh, the previous was uh, difficult or signs with the age like 2, 3, uh, 4 years. It is the very early signs of speech and, uh, of speech and language problems. Uh, I will start with language because there, are, there is a, a clear difference between language and speech. Sometimes people Sometimes people are mixing uh, them together uh, from birth to three uh, months. Uh, he's not showing any uh, smiling or uh, social uh, smile uh, or uh, playing with others from four to seven, no babbling, uh, from seven to twelve. If he cannot uh, make a few sounds or uh, not using gestures, and this is the time uh, for using gestures. It's very important at this age. Uh, from 7 to 2, a uh, no understanding of speech is uh, seems to be isolated. Uh, and we say uh, from 12 to 18 months, saying only a few words. And at this time, a child uh, needs to uh, produce like uh, 50 words minimum uh, at 2 years old. And he has difficulty in playing and uh, talking with other children. He seems to be ignoring the children as they're uh, playing aside to them. Um, uh, from two, two, uh, uh, two, two, five to three uh, years, he's having problems with every reading uh, and writing, and he might uh, uh, dislike to draw or uh, uh, color. Uh, uh, it's normal in this age to do that. Uh, uh, speech sound the disorders. Uh, child at uh, one to two years old, he has a difficulty to pronounce uh, ta, ma, ma ha and what sounds correctly and in work. Um, uh, and from two to three, he's having difficulty uh, to uh, pronounce ka, ga, fa, ta, da, and na in the correct way in words. Uh, those are signs, uh, very early signs, uh, to uh, detect the speech and language uh, difficulties and to need to uh, therapy. These signs are even worse if uh, it's a com a combined with uh, uh, the criterion of uh, DSM-5. Uh, when the child is showing deficit in emotional and social uh, reciprocity and nonverbal communication uh, behaviors used for social interaction and deficits in developing and maintaining relationships with others, we and the caregivers' uh, relations and uh, repetitive and stereotype behaviors uh, whether it's uh, meaning of food sounds or uh, using the objects in a weird uh, uh, way. Characteristic of quality of intervention, it should be family-centered, should be developmentally appropriate, and uh, it should be child focus on the child's uh, needs and the challenges. Uh, needs to be supportive and structured uh, according to the environment we are uh, implementing the intervention. Uh, here are some tips of the early, uh, uh, early, um, uh, to improve early speech and language. We need to uh, speak clear, clearly to the child to exaggerate our speech to him. We need to uh, uh, expand our uh, language to build on his uh, words, to use his word and put on it. Uh, we need to send a few simple questions uh, uh, to elicit yes or no question and give him choices. Uh, to use familiar objects uh, and uh, favorable uh, objects to him and toys and uh, uh, pictures. We need to uh, use clear uh, language with a uh, slow uh, rate of uh, uh, speech. We need to pause, then allow him to start to speak, to give him a chance not to talk too much all the time. Important area to focus on. Uh, cognitive hearing and oral motor exercises These are uh, so important uh, areas for us as a speech therapist to work on cognition, attention, and concentration, and uh, coordination, and hearing uh, auditory awareness and uh, discrimination, and also all about the exercise, speech, and non speech. There is a, a, a huge debate about motor exercises, if it's uh, uh, helpful or not. Uh, other, some people are saying it's helpful, some are saying that others. Recently, we start using uh, it with the uh, uh, Autistic children, even if they have normal structure, but it helps. It helps. 
uh, additional area to work on, uh, seating tolerance, uh, social interaction, pragmatic skills, uh, I mentioned this already, and behavior management and play skills, uh, breathe control, and the pre uh, literacy and the pre-academic skills, and supportive uh, environment. Um, quality of the services should be thorough uh, and efficient, should be working in multidisciplinary uh, uh, model and, uh, ter uh, and it should, uh, therapy should be integrated to share all goals between all other perspectives. No one can work uh, aside, we know no service can be over the other, uh, should be uh, working all together at the same time. Every intervention uh, uh, is uh, uh, the best if we have a uh, good duration, like good uh, time and frequency for uh, conducting the therapy and to do assessment and the intervention session in different settings uh, uh, in regular and there must be regular uh, supervision for uh, the therapy and uh, staff experience all the time with teams professional development and using applied behavioral evidence based. Uh, here I just mentioned uh, some evidence-based program, uh, EBA therapy, uh, family therapy, and parents training, and the school-based intervention. Uh, and I just mentioned here uh, about applied behavior analysis. As a newcomer to do applied behavior analysis, uh, it's the most effective uh, proven uh, uh, program that shows a great um, uh, results and great outcomes with uh, all children. Uh, here I just wanted to talk about the antecedent uh, intervention. It's a pre uh, preventive uh, intervention which works before the, the behavior comes, what happens. Um, and here are uh, four, um, uh, um, four functions of the behavior. Uh, behavior happens for attention or escape or access to tangible or automatic. We are working on these two uh, uh, behaviors. So we can prevent the behavior before it happens. And the second model I wanted to uh, share with you, the early development model. Uh, it has proved, proven uh, a great uh, outcome also with the children. It uh, works to develop the child uh, attention and social interaction and communication and the emotional feelings and uh, uh, working with using the favorite uh, activities and the integrated the learning uh, with joint acti activities and giving the child to uh, opportunities to uh, work during the day for long time. Areas uh, that then were model working on perception, accepted and uh, communication uh, with the, uh, and social emotional development and find a gross motor development, self skills and play and attention. Uh, our model in Marbella is working on both. Denver and uh, apply the different analysis. We start with the reference, it comes from doctors or in the schools or parents, and we do screening uh, uh, with the multidisciplinary team. We do report the, 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 the screening for the first time uh, to do before and after, and we do play this uh, uh, assessment. Uh, and after, after the first assessment, we do an observation for one week to complete our IPD and to share it with, uh, with the parents later to discuss if they have any uh, questions about. We give brief about the case. We have, uh, also brief about the intervention plan, how will it be, uh, and we share a uh, home program as well. Then we implement all uh, evidence-based program in our therapy, 24 hours, uh, 24 hours, seven uh, communicating with the child, with the parents, and uh, uh, daily progress notes, sharing daily progress notes for each single uh, uh, session, uh, and giving the training for the, for the child 25 hours uh, a week, four hours training for the mother, four hours training for the nanny. Uh, uh, we are working for internalizing uh, skills at home and uh, in the school and in the community, and we do reassessment after a while. Uh,
much about this video. I just wanted to show you our uh, unique uh, way to uh, communicate with parents. We create uh, for each single child a WhatsApp group for him to achieve the confidentiality and the privacy uh, with the mother and all other uh, uh, teachers that working on 24 7. We are uh, sharing our uh, assistant findings and the ITB with them and daily progress report for each single uh, session. Uh, the group is allowed to communicate 24 7 with the mother. Uh, and we are sharing uh, also uh, illustrated videos for uh, some uh, uh, some time from our session uh, and to uh, accept their uh, questions and uh, notes about the therapy. Uh, we also give them uh, links and uh, suggested uh, activities and the materials. And we do uh, weekly uh, uh, meetings uh, for uh, improving their uh, knowledge and information. Thank you so much for your attention.